there's a whole lot going on here with this operation that might look odd to you, but I'm opening with this video clip because it involves a 3D printed template to cut repeatable wooden forms, and I think that's a pretty cool use of the technology. And I needed a good hook to open a video about my 3D printers, so there you go. You might recall that I was building a cabinet for my 3D printers, and that I did a sponsored video right after that with AnchorMag to show off their M5 3D printer where I made an inlay cutting pantograph. After using that M5 and just seeing how incredibly fast it was and all of the cool features to get it calibrated and communicate, print quickly, I mean everything was just really really easy with this printer compared to my experience with my old printers, I just couldn't fathom ever going back to them for anything. So I told Anchor that I would do another video for them if they sent me two more printers to fill out my cabinet. So that's all Anchor printers. Instead of the M5, they wanted to send me two of their less expensive M5C printers, which at first I was worried would be less capable, but once I started looking at what they did with the M5C, it didn't feel that way. They simplified the construction a lot and they got rid of the user interface screen, but since I was using the PC and phone apps to communicate with the printer anyway and wasn't really using that screen, I don't think I'll miss it because the M5C communicates with those same apps. You don't really need the screen. I'm assuming that's why they got rid of it. They also actually upgraded the extrusion system for the M5C. So it can go up to 300C and allow you to do carbon fiber filament stuff for the more advanced filaments. I'm quite keen to try those out and my more expensive M5 can't do this, but AnchorMake did tell me that they're going to have a 300C hot end for the M5 also coming soon so that it will have that same capability. The cabinet that I'm building requires a low profile printer setup so I need to build filament dispensers that can mount behind the printers. So let's get that done. <laughs> So here it is all put together. And to be clear, this thing is not finished. I still need to close it all in and I need to build the bookshelf above because my wife is getting a little unhappy with all of this stuff in the entryway. So I'll leave you with a few clips of the welding. That is the first step on getting that built.
Um, Dad, how is it turning? Well, you gotta join my channel to learn how I did that.